Hey guys, with this data set, uh, we're going to get a pipeline per, approved for production using SageMaker pipelines. We're going to use an XGBoost regression model. Okay, let's get started. Um, of course, we're use a Google Colab or a Jupyter Notebook for the next one. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, the, the fair amount, that's what we're going to target. Right there, the fair amount. Okay. But before that, we need to clean it, the data, and then we got to import it into SageMaker Studio. But we're going to do that. Okay, so read it with pandas, and then use the label encoder. And then fill in A's for zero. DF equals drop these three columns. DF two CSV to get the new CSV. Okay. And upload it into here using that. And then get your um, execution role, your region name, create a default bucket, and your pipeline session. Okay. This equals new DF, the one we just created and imported. Okay, your default bucket, name it that. Okay. Your workflow parameters. There we go. Make that directory, and then we're going to make, uh, because we're going to create these three, these two files. Now, you guys want to take a sneak peek. You guys see the model's approved for production. Last time it would have been approved if I passed the last parameter. Okay. And then as you can see, it's approved and it's 78% accurate. The R2 score. Now, I'll show you guys how to do standard deviation. Um, okay. So um, there we go. Hit your target fair amount. PD concat, and then your base directory. Two CSV. Okay. And then your SK Learn preprocessor. That version of the framework. Okay, run it. And then remember your file path marker preprocessing. Name it whatever you want. Okay. Now, guys, do this just as shown. Otherwise, you won't even pass the first step, the preprocessing step. Second is training, which is this step right here. Pass those parameters. Okay, hyperparameters. And then this is how to see your hyperparameters right there. Okay, your training step, the data right there that we created. Your evaluation PY that you're going to create. Okay, splice with pandas and then... If you guys want to do standard deviation, you guys can. However, I didn't use root mean squared error. Okay, there's your R2 score. Okay, which is the accuracy score in regression. Okay. Your evaluation PY for the code. Your processing step. To register the model. Model artifacts. Okay. And then regression.accuracy.value. Because remember the JSON path? Okay, and then write, put uh, 
If this were accuracy for uh, classification, you would want to put that higher. Okay. Pipeline definition. And then to start the thing from beginning to end using continuous integration and continuous delivery. Describe the steps you guys see. And then list the steps. Everything from registered, the model succeeded. Okay, pass that parameter for getting it approved after it's a, passed all the other steps. Okay, guys, I hope you learned from this video. Uh, later, we're going to, when I upgrade this account to a GPU instance, we're going to deploy image classification and object detection uh, algorithm with SageMaker as well. Eventually, we're going to do a natural language processing workflow. And then later on down the line, I'm going to get on Google Cloud when I get enough subscribers and viewers to afford to occur charges for deploying pipelines on Kubeflow and AI Vertex. Maybe KServe, too. Okay, guys. And then uh, next time, we're just going to do a simple convolutional neural network. No deployment, no big thing. I'm going to find an interesting data set. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned. Thank you.